And now, your selection. Meet the stars. It's a place where everything moves so fast. If you slow down, you're gone. So before you got involved with this movie, how many hours did you log on a motorcycle? Not even an hour. You know, it's like... <laughs> You know, let me ride your bike around the neighborhood, you know, roll it around the corner a couple of times, you know, get off of it. So, no hours long. <laughs> Zero. So you didn't, no tricks? No, no you can... nothing, not at all. And I mean, my only experience with a two-wheeled vehicle was a moped. None. None? No. Was it a little scary to think that you were going to be, you know, screeching and doing wheelies? And yeah, all that it was absolutely my goal to, to get it and do it well. When I was 18, back in New Zealand, I had a little Honda 250, little um, two-stroke, those noisy ones, yeah. with the blue smoke <laughs> puffing out the back. And did you have some tricks that you already brought to the table when you got cast? Not tricks, but during the <laughs> rehearsal thing, I kind of I learned a couple of little, you know, standing up on the, the fuel tank and some driving, driving along, standing up. And these are skills that have carried over into your everyday life now? Yeah, it was hard. I drive a car, so it's kind of weird standing like, on the dashboard. It just doesn't quite work. Damn it, four! Oh, uh, I don't know. I can't do too many crazy tricks. I can, I can ride the bike. That's, that's a, you know, accomplishment enough for me. <laughs> Get her out of here! Uh. Now I heard uh, you, had, you know you had some fight scenes, and I heard that you had a couple close calls uh, mm -hmm. with Martin. Yeah. But you were cool about it. Can yeah. you tell me what happened? Oh, uh, you know, this is his first time doing the choreographed fight scene, so uh, you know when you take after take, you get a little tired, you know, and uh, you know he clocked me one time, which was cool. He didn't want to rehearse, you know, because I'm sure he's done a lot of these things, so he was cool. He's like. It's cool. You, you do your thing. I'm like, all right. So I'm like, rehearsing it and making sure it's you know perfect because I don't want to hit the guy. Sure enough, first rehearsal, he comes in. I turn around, I swing, I smack him straight in the face, and it was a little tense moment there where I was uh, yeah, like <laughs> looking for my my, my lawyer. You know, I can smash you right now. You and your little tricycle friends. Do you have any other good ice story, like p things that people wouldn't suspect? And someone turned up on set selling these little scooters, these motorized scooters, and so Cube purchased one, so he would turn up to set riding a little scooter, <laughs> which is a pretty funny sight. Here's Ice Cube, the founding father of gangster rap, on a little motorized, like, <laughs> whipping into set, you know? It's kind of a little surreal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we was terrorizing the set with them damn scooters. <laughs> you know, sometimes when, when you're doing a movie, Especially a movie like this, it's real technical and tedious and a lot of downtime. You know, we had purchased these little scooters and we was like running through the trailers and chasing each other and, you know, clowning and acting up, having a good time. Now, you got to have a little uh, smackdown with uh, Jamie Presley. Yeah. And I heard you got a free shot at her. Yeah, I did. I, I decked her in the face one day by accident. She was pretty cool about it. Oh! <laughs> What happened? I got her in the face. Ow. Jamie looks like a tough girl. Jamie could kick your ass for sure. <laughs> she actually said, just kick me so we can get it over with. I've never hit a girl in the face before. Oh, I have. I haven't. Yeah, isn't it great? Like, after I get in the fight, my lipstick's still perfect <laughs> and my hair's perfect. <laughs> 